Okay, hi YouTube. To do this, first of all, we need to download the software called Universal USB Installer. By searching on Google, you can find it easily and download the file. As you can see here, the first link is for the downloading this application after this we need to download backtrack 5 this one also possible by searching google the first link is backtracklinux.org I throw in, in the bar you choose download then press download button Backtrack release uh, 3, Backtrack 5 release 3, GNOME 5 for the Windows Manager, and image type should be ISO for sure because you want to use USB and you can download by torrent or tire. Anyway, after that, you open the first file that you download in your cell USB installer, open it up. Yes, I agree. Okay, first, first step is that you choose the distribution, Linux distribution that you want to install. Is Backtrack Five Redis Three. Second, you should show to the application where is your Backtrack ISO file, and I direct it I straight away. I go to the direct. Yeah, here I install it. Yeah. The third step is that you should choose your USB drive. Okay, when I choose this, if I don't format, I should. If I don't format, it's the live USB drive. If I put some data for that thing, it kind of storage that can put the update all the stuff that you download on your backtrack, kind of change, kind of save on your USB. As you can see here, we got five steps that the use universal USB installer is supposed to do. I press button yes, and then here you go. It's a start to installing in this thing. But the, you should know that it's really, really this this software. It's gonna be installed maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You should be patient. Anyway, okay. The thing that I gonna tell you, it's Backtrack Five Registry is really nice to have on USB because it's portable and it's really fast. But anyway, every time you use it, after you finish using, you wanna shut down the computer and your Backtrack. You should wait, you know, if you suddenly remove the USB drive and the stuff, it's not gonna be working. Okay, here you go, installation complete. Then I close the window. And uh, here you go, let's see what we got on USB drive. Open the drive. As you can see, you have this folder. Casper disk press sys Linux it's all your this your all your data that you download or I don't know gonna be save on disk. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video anyway. I appreciate that if you like my video and subscribe my channel please. I hope that you enjoy.